Okay, let's take a look at groups now. If I want to, first of all, I can explore and see what groups are all available in Washington County Public Schools. This is why we end up getting into a teeny bit of problems with our email on occasion. Because sometimes someone will start to type something like seventh grade team and you're going to find out that there may be more than one seventh grade team or one uh, second grade team, etc. And the email ends up when you start typing it, you're not checking closely enough to see where that email is going in 365. It's suddenly you're, you're sending it to a different group without really realizing that. But let's talk about groups. Now you're going to see here, here's a list of all the wonderful um, groups that are available. And if I chose to, I could join any group that is right here that is a public group. So you notice right here it says Technology Hardware Department is a private group. I can't join them. I could click the word join and it sends a request to the person who who created the group and they can decide yes they want me to join or no they don't want me to join. Please notice though that some of these groups you're going to see right here is a public group. So anybody can click on that and join that group. Well, how do I make my group public or private? Well, when you create your group, you can choose your group name. And it's going to tell me that it's available. And I can... I can put a description in there. Um, now, here's where it's unique. I have the option right here at the very beginning to say whether this is a public or a private group. And I also can set the language for the group. Please note, once I have created the group, if I've set it initially to public, I cannot change it back to private. I have to delete the group and recreate it. So that's important that you decide whether at the very beginning if this is a public group or a private group. Let me reiter reiterate one more time the difference. So a public group, anyone can join that group and they just become an automatic member. So anything's available for them to see, anybody within the school system. Private groups the ability to join is still there for anybody in the school system. However, when they click the word join, the person who created the group gets an email and they have to accept that person into the group.